Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Beauty Bay unboxing video. That's what that box is. Also, Naya's behind me and I'm trying not to scare her. So, we'll see how that goes. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a Beauty Bay unboxing. I think... I thought she was leaving. I think I've got 17 items from Beauty Bay. Um, but then I also just, like, not long ago bought the new Jeffree Star palette from Beauty Bay. That won't be coming for a bit though. It does say it's with the courier at the moment, um, but that could be delivered up to like a week. So we'll see when I get that. I'll probably make a whole video just on that palette so I don't feel the need to include that, but just know I also ordered that from Beauty Bay and that is on its way. I got this box in the mail on the 26th of June, the day after my birthday. I was meant to get it on the 24th, but it didn't turn up, so that was really fun. I had no presents on my birthday because this was my present um, to myself, from myself, whatever. Also, I don't know if this video is going to be out already or if it's going up after this one, but I have, like, I've seen where I've gotten. Um, it was my birthday present. Um, but I used the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette for the look that you're seeing on my eyes. I did a challenge to use every single colour on my eyes. So hopefully I put that video out before this one, otherwise it just spoils that video. Anyways, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through what I got. Um, I'll be doing some swatches on my arm and stuff because I know I'll be curious. I haven't swatched anything except for this palette, so that'll be fun. I bought like oh, too many palettes, like way too many palettes. Um, and also this box is like, sorry that I'm rambling, this box is also, I see it as like so many videos like I see it as so much content in this one box which is really exciting but yeah there's so many different palettes but I'll be doing a video on literally every single palette later on down the line um over the course of a few months I'm sure but yeah anyways let's just I'm sure you just want to see the haul so let's just get into the haul I suck oh my god I'm sorry so with a lot of them I've kind of taken them out of their unicartons well two Laura Lee things would you look at that <laughs> um I love her Bless you, Naya. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Oh, she's so beautiful. Um, yeah, a lot of them I've taken out of the unicartons because I went to show my brother um, and I just couldn't be bothered to put them back in. So they did come with unicartons, obviously, but I probably won't be showing that. Okay, some, some unicartons over there. Um, I don't know where the rest of them are. They might actually be back on the palettes. So that's probably it. Actually, okay, let's start with this because this is, hang on, in a unicorn. There we go. Um, I was a little bit, I don't want to say disappointed, but online this looked like a huge palette. And like, yeah, holding it, like, it's decent size, but it looked like a big palette with like regular sized um, pans. Pans? Um, I need to compare it. Let me, okay. So let me just compare it to like Morphe, which is what I now see as like a standard pan size. So this is the Morphe Jacqueline, Morphe Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Palette from the Bolt Collection. That's what I see as like a normal sized circular pan. And then I got this one, which is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Palette, the 35 color pressed pigment palette, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna take the plastic off okay. and this is what this is what arrived and I was a bit taken back by it because I was like oh they are really really tiny shades on camera this looks big see that's what I mean online it looked big and on camera this looks big it's not though hang on let me just like turn the brightness down so you can actually see the colors as you can see side by side 
they are not like they're touching like they're literal side by side they are not the same size at all so again this is what I see as like a regular sized pin or a circular thing and that's what the size of the BH ones are so you can see there's a huge difference let me just there's a huge difference so that was a little bit disappointing um i'll still be doing like a sorry i'll still be doing like a video and everything on it and i'll be like using the colors but like it was just a little bit disappointing um i'm like intrigued to swatch these three big colors down the bottom and then i'll swatch a few of the other ones but if you want to see me like swatch them all that's why i'm doing each individual video for each what that's why I'm doing a video for each individual palette so you can see like every single one swatched and like a eyeshadow look created with it to see if they're good, if they're blendable, if they're pigmented, if they're patchy, you know, like all that sort of stuff. That's why I'm doing that. So you're welcome in advance, but obviously those videos aren't going to be out instantaneously. They'll be out over the course of a few months because <laughs> I went a little bit wild. Mm. But it was my birthday, you know, it was my birthday. It was my birthday, thank you very much. Let me just swatch the bottom ones. Okay, so that one's like a gold highlighter. And then the one on the other side is like a minty blue. Bluish green highlighter. Oh, that's not gonna, let me, let's try this. Let's try turning that down. Okay, you can kind of see that. And then the middle one is like a black, I would assume. <laughs> I assume that's what it's there for, which scares me because blacks scare the crap out of me. But it is like those makeup wipe. Um, oh, it's a bit patchy, isn't it? But you know, it might not swatch well, you know? You can never really tell. It's pigmented, it's staining. It's staining already. It's been on for like 10 seconds. So I'll like pick a red, I'll pick an orange, I'll pick a yellow, I'll pick a red. You know what I'm going on with, okay? So. I'm going to go in with this because I'm pretty sure that's the only red. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit my finger in there. Only just. That feels like kind of creamy, so I'm not disappointed with that. So that's that, what that looks like. That's not that bad. It's a bit patchy towards the end, but oh well. And then next to that is an orange. And I think that's the only orange as well. Even though there's two yellows that look identical. And then I'll just keep going. Um, I'll keep going in that row sort of thing. I'll do that yellow, that green. I'll do that blue, that purple, and that pink. Now you know ahead of time what I'm swatching. That one felt very dry and chalky. That one didn't feel too bad, but the pigment isn't completely there. was actually pretty good. This is a shimmer so it's gonna swatch differently. It's quite sheer. Whoa that's bright. That one is good. <laughs> wow that was impressive. So those are some of the shades from the palette swatched. Okay and since I already mentioned the Laura Leila's Angela's Party Animal Palette. Um, I'll just show that now. So if you want to see the swatches and obviously how it performs, then you'll have to watch the other video when it comes out or if it's out. And yeah, that's basically it for that one. Okay, I'm trying to break up the palettes with some other things that I got. Um, I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I've heard really great things about this concealer, so I figured I'd try it. So yeah, I might do a video on it, we'll see, but I also got that. And of course, the other Laura Lee thing that I got, I was pretty upset because I really wanted to get all of them, so I wanted to get Nudie Patootie as well. Um, I was going to get the other like matching little bundle set of these, um, the, like, the one that's about work, like being a boss babe or something like that, I can't remember. I was going to get that, but because those sort of shades, like those six shades are something that I would have in like another Morphe palette or something like that, you know what I mean? Like I have those shades and granted I might have a few of these shades but I really want to support Laura because I love her so I figured I'd try and support her in a way 
I would be using what I bought. Like, you know what I mean? So, I got that because I know I would actually reach for like, this calls my name, karaoke. I love, I love karaoke, it's beautiful. And it's a party really called my name as well. Um, it's just pretty. But because I couldn't get Nudie Patootie, um, I'll just have to wait. But I did get Cat's Pajamas and just look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. Would you have a look? I never put the brightness back. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty. This is what she looks like on the inside. So, yeah, that's those shades. I'll swatch. What one should I swatch? Gotta swatch Scatterbrain. It looks amazing. In one ear and quirky. They're all shimmer shades. Maybe I should swatch. And I'll just swatch Bomb Diggity as well. First, I'm going in with Scatterbrain. Oofed. Oh, I need to turn back down the brightness. Maybe I should just keep it down the whole time. I don't know. That's Scatterbrain. So pretty. I'll swatch Bomb Diggity. That's like so creamy and pigmented. I promise I'm not flicking you off, by the way. It's just the finger I'm swatching with. Now I'm going to go in with Quirky, which it seems I've dug my finger into. Yep, that's, that's it right there. Can you see that? I just saw like a scratch mark in it and I was like... That wasn't like that when I bought it, so yep. Wow, good on you, Talia. Anyways, so got that one. That one's super pretty as well. In one ear. That is super pretty and pigmented. So that's four of the one, two, three, four, five, ten shades. Four of the ten shades swatched from Cat's Pajamas. The next thing I got is a Wet n Wild White Eyeliner Pencil. This is so long. Here's my OXX Studio Black Eyeliner Pencil. Like that! Look at the difference in size. Like, can you tell? Like, that's huge. This should last me a long time. If it doesn't like, get all like, dried out and like, bad and Hopefully it doesn't do that, but I've heard that they tend to, so that kind of sucks. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, you can probably see it here, but Tummy X Revolution Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. Why was that a mouthful for me? Which, oh, someone's saying. Oh, that is not a flattering angle at all. Which just looks like that. You can see my pineapple mirror up there, my aloha. Where is it? My other aloha and my other aloha um <laughs> can you tell i like beachy things um so yeah that's just what this looks like so that's what that looks like i'm going to swatch i'll swatch this one which is called calypso i'll swatch this one's called my name that one is called pink panther i want to swatch this one which is called definitely I really want to swatch that one, that one looks really nice. Which is called Destiny. How many is that? One, two, three, four. And we'll swatch these two, I can't help myself. Which are called Short Knee and Greens. Okay, let's do Calypso. Okay. I don't know if that made a difference. Um, and then I'm going to go in with green I'm just going to go like across. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, Tammy. Okay, Tammy. Um, and then we're going to do short knee. That one feels so smooth. Oh my goodness. And it looks just as smooth gonna do destiny that is beautiful oh my goodness sorry about the bad swatches I'm not good at watching but the colors are good at watching let me tell you that much the next one is pink panther the next two are mattes so that'll be different from any other swatch these are all shimmers that swatch so well for a matte I always have such a bad time swatching mattes <sighs> standards um and then the next one is called definitely and i definitely like this color 
Oh, it looks a bit patchy at the start. That's because I'm rubbing my fingers on a wet makeup wipe, so you're not really meant to wet matte colours. So let me just give that a better chance because that is completely my fault. My bad. Okay. Sorry if the camera angle changed a little bit just then. My boyfriend called me, so way to interrupt the video, Tate. Zach! Zach! Stop yelling! We dead kid. That was that palette swatched. As you can see, look how cute she is. Oh my lord. I can't with her. She's just so beautiful. Zach is driving me nuts off. So for the next item, <laughs> she's so beautiful. I love you. Um, for the next item, if any of you watch Shan XO, then you'll know what I'm talking about when I say um, that she does like a rainbow colourful series on her channel, where she'll do like a, a red look, then an orange look, a yellow look, a green look, a blue look, a purple look, a pink look, you know, it goes on. Um, and I wanted to take inspiration. I wanted to take, in I wanted to take inspiration, good job Dahlia, nailed it, um, from that video and do like a similar series because um, I thought that was a great idea and I love her and I love watching her videos so um, yeah I want to do something similar she gave me great inspiration from that series so I picked up these one two three one two three four four times three is twelve picked up these twelve pack of glitters um, as you can see they're like all different colors and like different types of reflections of colours and like, you know what I mean? They're just, you know, they're cool. So I want to speak this up to help me with that series that I'm going to make later on. Um, you know, because like, there's a, like, there's a red, orange, yellow, greens, blues, purples, pinks, and then like, you know, silver iridescent, any colour. I don't exactly know where it's from. It says festival face. So, yeah, because I've spoken about Several YouTubers talking about Tammy, Warley, Shen XO. Yeah, anyways, may as well talk about another one. So, you know, like, so, so if there's nails, but not really anymore. If you watch her, you'll know. If you know, you know. There you go. Um, she has some palettes with Revolution. I didn't particularly want to buy those palettes because, like, looking at them, I was like, well, I have similar shades in, like, these sort of palettes, and I also know that it wouldn't be something that I would gravitate towards on a regular basis. I'm not saying that the palette's bad or anything, but it's just not my personal taste. But what is my personal taste is highlighters. So I wanted to support her either way. And again, it's like the Laura Lee thing. I wanted to support her with something that if I purchase it, I will use. So I picked up her highlighting palette with Revolution. Ugh. As you can see, these are beautiful and of course don't be silly of course we're gonna swatch some I've got an idea I'll go like a little zigzag I'll go this one this one this one this one there you go little zigzag it gives you a good taste out of the eight shades I'll swatch the four okay so there's the first one it has like some gold reflection am I gonna yeah <laughs> it has gold reflection in it as you can see it's super pretty and then the pinky purpley one. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. Are we seeing the same thing? I hope so. I want to yell at my brother so bad right now. He's really annoying me. Oh my gosh. I'm in such a good mood from these highlighters though. That is so pigmented. I don't want to yell at him because he's like, he's doing well not to scream, but he's still talking really loudly. Zach! There you go. That worked. Um, and then there's the other shade. Sorry, I'm off on my tangent. So, those are those four shades swatched. So, yeah. I picked up that. The next thing I picked up is this five mini set of mascaras from Wet n Wild. I figured I'd do this because I'm always like trying to, like I have like my go-to mascara, which is my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Volume Express Mascara. But I do want to like find other mascaras and kind of branch out and I don't want to have to buy like 
whole tubes and then like hate that mascara if you know what I mean so I think like buying minis is a great way to discover a new favorite mascara so I bought a five pack of minis and if I like really love a certain one then I'll see if they sell that in a whole size but if not I'll probably just keep buying the mini um, but yeah I wanted to branch out and find new mascara so I can see like what's out there but figured I'd do it in a smart way so if I hate any one of these it doesn't matter because it's a mini but if I love them then I know what to look for so the next palette I bought you can see the unicorn right there it's iridescent and beautiful um it's huge <laughs> online it looked like a big palette yeah but I didn't realize how chunky and big it was gonna be but like I'm not complaining don't give me I'm not complaining it's beautiful but um yeah I got the EYN my brother just scared the crap out of me because he just walked past my window let's just wait for him to walk back past oh he's messing with the beans yeah scared Nile. oh beetles commented on my video Tay Tay's shout out to you if you're watching this um yeah the EYN bright 42 color palette um this comes with a again another unflattering angle this comes oh my gosh come on down there. this comes with like a huge mirror as you can see it's huge you can see the other side of my room um can we see why I bought this palette? It is so beautiful. Look at how iridescent that is. I didn't even realize it was iridescent in the in betweens. But it's just a, another rainbow palette because I'm obsessed with rainbow palettes. I honestly don't think I could ever own enough rainbow palettes. It's a bit of a problem. But um, yeah, I got this one. Well, okay, how many shades is there? 42. So it said 42. So let's be. Sh I was about to say let's be fair and then it turned out to let's be shit. I don't really know how I got that. Um, anyways, so I'll swatch like 10 to be fair. Um, but again, this will have a whole video on, on it. So I don't want to be like, you know. Anyways, so, okay. I'm going to swatch. Oh my God, I have to swatch Lagoon. I'll just show you after because it's too hard to decide. So I'll show you what I managed to swatch after. Bear with me, be right back. Okay, so I got a little bit carried away off camera. I know I said I was going to swatch 10, but I swatched 14. I know you don't mind, so it's okay. But I got a little bit carried away, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so that isn't going to work, is it? How did I swatch? Oh, because I swatched it. Yeah, I got a little bit carried away. As you can see, I can't really show you the swatches perfectly because I accidentally swatched it like that instead of swatching it like that so <laughs> I'm an idiot is what I'm saying um but yeah as you can see I got a little bit carried away I'll show you now um I swatched hot stuff that red up the top and the orange is heat wave the yellow is hello sunshine the green you can probably tell is frosted lime the next colour, like the tealy colour, is Lagoon. The next colour is Daydream. I'm just going down the line of my hand if you can see it. The next colour isn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. And that's Paradise. The next colour is Splash. The next colour... Um, can you see it? I might have to zoom in on editing. Is Sapphire. Did I just get that on my shirt? I don't know. Sapphire. One of my down there, again, wasn't pigmented. You probably can't tell. Again, I'll try and editing to zoom up in it. But, you know. And then the next colour is um, Fairy Tale. And then after Fairy Tale is the one that stands out to me most, which is Make Them Wink. So if you can see. And then the next colour after that is Sweet Escape and then Angel Cake. So if you can see that, that'd be great, but you know, I messed up, so you can kind of see, that's, you can kind of see Angel Cake is like a little bit shimmery on the end, but it's close to my skin colour, so it's hard to see. Anyway, so 
those are the, some of the swatches for this palette. Okay, so as you can see, oh, hello. Um, yeah, got some color on there. Let me just fold that up so it doesn't look as bad. Um, as you can see, yeah, definitely was a little bit rough with my arm. It's got a bit of redness to it. Oh, I love it. Um, because yeah, that was staining. So, I've heard great things about the Revolution Conceal and Correct Concealer. So I got two of them. Um, I heard it's meant to be like a dupe for Shape Tape. I am doing a video on that, so stay tuned. Um, I got the plain white one for like cut creases, so colours stand out better on the actual eye. So I picked up one of those. Um, as well as one, oof, one, and it's hard to shade match online, one that I thought might work for my skin tone, and like it looks, I was gonna say it looks a bit light, but I did bronze my whole face, so that's not how I actually look like my skin color. My skin color at the moment is like that, so like that would work for my skin color. I could make it work, so yeah, and this is in shade C07 for reference. Um, and yeah. So the next palette I got is another Revolution palette. It's a Maxi Reloaded palette. Um, you'll die. You'll die. Okay. It's huge. Oh, but it stinks. It stinks really bad of like plastic chemically smells. So that's not great. Um, how many? 45 shadows, I think it said. It's huge, guys. Like it's huge. Um. But I'm obsessed with it, like, <laughs> hello. Um, I'm not huge on pinks, and you'll be like, well, why the hell would you buy that palette? I'm big on, like, neutral, so, so I don't mind mixing in a bit of pink with my look sometimes. I got some here, but this is a colourful look, so it's different. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna swatch a few of those for you as well. Okay, so there is no shade names. They're literally numbered 1 through 45, so there is no shade names. Okay, so... As you can see, I've swatched, actually, I don't know how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've swatched 13 shades. Got some, got some staining going on. You can definitely see where I've had swatches. The next three items I picked up are LA Girl Neon Liners. So I got three of those. I got the purple, the tealy color, and the yellow. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about those. I just got those. I can swatch them for you, I guess. That's the purple. I don't know if you saw that on camera or not. This matches my shirt today. Oh, I haven't opened it. Ooh, that one's really pretty. These are the liners swatched, as you can see, it should be the way around, and yeah, and the last thing that I got, oh, liners are hard to get off apparently, which should be a good thing because that means that they should theoretically stay in your waterline. The last thing that I got, um, like I said, I like my rainbow palettes, okay, so we just saw this one. And I got this one, again, but slightly different. I got the Revolution Maxi Reloaded Monster Matte Palette. I like my rainbows, what can I say? So, we got that one as well. So, this one is super pretty. It's 1 through 45. I'm an idiot. But, uh, yeah, let's just swatch a few of these. And those are some of those ones swatched, as you can see. So, yeah. I need to be off to the side so you can see now. <laughs> that was everything that I got from Beauty Bay for, from myself, for myself, for my birthday. Um, isn't she the cutest thing? <laughs> yeah, so that was everything I got. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. And all right, guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to this channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I make new videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday. Be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also. You should do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and don't forget. Everything's gonna be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.